One time, I was in a, a, a retreat, and one sister used one method, very helpful, to start the people sharing. She gives us a short yarn like that, and she said, you wrap that yarn around your finger. You just have to share as long as you wrap the yarn. So that's very short. So people don't have to feel any pressure. So they wrap the yarn and say, okay, last today, last week something happened. And then they want to continue. <laughs> but that makes them feel very easy. Just for that short time, can you share just short time? So when people feel they don't have to share something difficult, now the cell group churches also have, they call icebreakers. Mm -hmm. That, for instance, they have games that make people feel very easy, happy. And uh, so, now, their church worship, they, sometimes they have icebreakers first before they start the worship. But that's up to you. But those are ways that make people feel very free, very uh, easy to relate to each other, and that, uh, that build up the, build up the, uh, cohesiveness and the friendliness of the church. And, this, and they, there was a book that studied the eight qualities of cell group churches. That what makes some churches so strong and powerful. Now I don't, I may not remember all eight, I'll, I'll tell you some of them. First one is the spiritual, strong spiritual church. And the second, the worship really uh, strengthens people. People feel different after the service, they feel strengthened and uh, the caring, the caring relationship mm. and an efficient uh, administration structure. Now, there are administration structure everywhere, but some structures are not very efficient. In order to decide something, decide on something, they could take half a year to decide on something, but an efficient uh, administration system. I, I, I forgot the rest, but then those are some the one, some of the main. And um, I forgot, but it's okay. So these are some qualities, and and then they say that of the eight qualities, the one that you are weakest will be the one that hinders the church. For instance, if the church is very cold, even though you have a very good administration system, it's very spiritual. Uh, the the songs are very like, encouraging to people, but the people are not warm. It will stop the growth of the church right there. Mm -hmm. Whatever the weakest part will stop the church right there. So, so we want to work on different qualities. I can send you the eight qualities. That, uh, so we want to work on whatever you see. Already you see the church, you know what is the weakest part. So how can we overcome that? 